Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, wow, what a wonderful way to start our final plenary session. Tanya, thank you so much. Let's give it up for Tanya for that beautiful rendition. She's gone now, but uh, this has been an amazing three days, hasn't it? Uh, uh, have you guys felt the energy of this conference? I'm leaving with so many fresh and inspiring memories. Who will ever forget Monday's panel of legends in the civil rights movement? Speaking with humility, speak, thank you, speaking with humility, um, calling on us to find our purpose, our passion, calling on the next generation to act. I love Wendy Spencer's session and learning how she's stretching dollars to enable more to join AmeriCorps. I love seeing the enthusiasm and long-term commitment of service of the AmeriCorps alums. Thank you, Ameri people, for your active engagement in our movement. <laughs> I love the business track where companies are building on philanthropy and volunteering. They're finding purpose in using skills to drive community impact. I love my time with our hands-on network, the backbone of community volunteering. And I'm excited about the innovations in the field. Let's hear it for our, our volunteer center network. <laughs> Speaking of innovations, I was so excited to hear some of, the, some of the pitches of the startups that have gone through our Points of Light Accelerator. I wish you were all there. It's so inspiring. It's awesome what the, these young people are doing to address serious pressing issues in their communities. I'm so excited about our global work. I'm really proud that we're going to be spreading the culture of service overseas to other countries. Perhaps the greatest takeaway for me, however, was listening to Harvard professor Mark Kramer talk about our work. He said that the old model is where we solve problems in silos. He used the metaphor, the points of light metaphor, referring to a galaxy of stars, each star representing a charitable organization powered by volunteers solving problems. This model really hasn't moved the needle in, in solving some of our most persistent problems in our country. He made the powerful case for collective impact and suggested that if we focus points of light in a single direction, it becomes a laser. And imagine the power of a laser in penetrating and solving problems that are so intractable. This re resonates with me because we, we are using a community impact approach in Houston. I'm leveraging my mother's um, interest in literacy. We formed the Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation, and that foundation serves as the backbone. We're bringing nonprofits, school districts, companies, um, we're bringing government together at the same table to solve the literacy crisis across all age groups in our, in our great city. This crisis affects and impacts everyone in Houston. I'm leaving this conference, though, with more knowledge. I'm leaving this conference with a stronger network. I'm leaving this con con conference more empowered to make the change I want to make in my community. And I trust you are too. So now, it is my great pleasure, one of the most joyful things for being the Points of Light Chair, in addition to working with great and talented leaders like Tracy Hoover and, and our team, is to be able to, to give a Point of Light Award. This award recognizes ordinary people who do extraordinary things to impact others. And today, I'm proud to present the award to a boy who has changed lives in a unique and wonderful way. It happened at a Cracker Barrel, of all places. As the security camera shows, Lieutenant Colonel Daly entered the restaurant on February 7th for an early lunch. At about the same time, eight-year-old Miles Eckert came in with his family. Miles, in the green hoodie, was very excited. He just found a $20 bill in the parking lot. Just sitting there? Yeah. Did you start thinking of what you could spend it on? Uh, I kind of wanted to get a video game, but then I decided not to. He changed his mind when he saw that guy in uniform. Because he was a soldier, and soldiers remind me of my dad. And so, with his dad in mind, Miles wrapped the 20 in a note that read, Dear Soldier, My dad was a soldier. He's in heaven now. I found this $20 in the parking lot when we got here. We like to pay it forward in my family. It's your lucky day. 
Thank you for your service. Signed, Miles Eckert, a Gold Star Kid. Army Sergeant Andy Eckert was killed in Iraq just five weeks after Miles was born. All the kid has ever had are pictures and dog tags. This is his wedding ring. Other people's memories and his own imagination. I imagined him as a really nice person and somebody that would be really fun. The dad he imagines must also love a good story. Because after lunch oh, that day, boy. Miles asked his mom, Tiffany, to make one more stop. Excellent. He wanted to go see his dad. Hmm. And he wanted to go by himself that day. She took this picture from the car. Follow the footsteps and you'll see Miles standing there behind the flag, presumably telling his dad all about it. And whether heaven heard him or not, his good deed continues to impress here on earth. You've read it more than once? I look at it every day. Kid gave you a bigger gift than $20. Uh, a lifetime uh, uh, direction, for sure. Lieutenant Colonel Daly says he's already given away the 20 and plans to do much more. He also hopes that little green post-it will inspire other people across the country to give, to give as sincerely and dutifully as this father and son. Please welcome to the stage the Eckert family. Give me a standing ovation, Miles. Doesn't happen very often. Give him a big wave. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a fist bump too, Miles. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Miles. Miles, your compassion is infectious and so moving. It is an honor to give you and your family the Daily Point of Light Award number 5,242. Let's give it up once again for Miles and his wonderful family. You want to hold this, Miles? Okay, hey, boy, you take a picture here real quick. Yeah. All right, thank you. Can you help carry that off? Thank you.